starts with a piece of graph paper and a couple pencils. Mm -hmm. Just like when we were kids. What? What do we got today, buddy? Huh? Huh? Chicago, Navy Pier. Guys, I am at Navy Pier in Chicago, Illinois, and it's that time of year again. We are doing the Flower and Garden Show. You know, my peers don't love that we do this show. We spend so much time preparing for it, literally physically kill ourselves putting it together, and what kind of work do we get out of it? So in the past, we've always done huge elaborate displays. I think one year, the theme was um, music in the garden. So we set up a piano and we set up trumpet and we had water flowing out of it. One year we did uh, hung our patio ponds with chains and had water spilling from one patio pond to the next. We did rain chains, uh, not just a couple rain chains. If you don't know what rain chains are, look it up. They're super, super cool. But we did 150 rain chains coming down and every year I love doing the show so much because it allows us to stretch our creativity well this year we weren't gonna do the show but at the very very last second decided to do it and we're gonna go back to basics with the thing we're just showing four small features we're gonna show the sphere we're gonna show basalt columns billway wall the architectural walls and a small little pondless waterfall all in a pretty tight space Brian said it is flower and garden show time. I got my man Josh Duffy, the leak whisperer here. Uh, he and I and the rest of the team are getting stuff put together to ship down to the show down to Navy Pier in Chicago. Uh, I'm excited. Are you excited? Oh yeah. You can tell, right? That's about as excited as that man gets right there. We have a lot of work to get done today. We've got a, um, a bunch of product here, a bunch of product up here that we have to kind of consolidate, get that stuff loaded up. All right, good. We've got the skitster rolling right now. Looks like we're dieseling up the Isuzu. We're going to end up putting the, our brand new Dingo in the back of the truck, and then we'll haul the mini excavator, the 303 down. Hey, Eli. Eli's the newest teammate. Are you excited about your first flower show? Extremely excited. You can yeah. tell, man. You see how much more excited he looks than Josh did? That'll probably take all of our equipment, hand tools, that kind of stuff. We'll bring our big orange toolbox down there so we make sure we have everything we need when we get down there. It's about an hour and a half one-way trip down to Chicago for us. We'll get all the product put in our box truck, possibly even to one of our Ford Transits. So we're gonna get everything down there today. We have two days to set this thing up. Let's get rocking and rolling. Oh girl, we got our cat 303. It's our mini excavator. Makes it through 90% of our backyard spaces. We just love the versatility of it. The size of it's perfect. We're gonna get, get her loaded up on the trailer and take her down to the show. Love that old, old lady. Down to the last few items being loaded up on the truck. Our Zuzu right there, and then you can see our box truck right here. Brian has, I think, eight pallets of moss rock coming, but you can see we've got a pallet jack, which is crucial. So you've got our basalt rocks buried down in there, some fabric, pipe, all kinds of stuff, two pallets of product. So we are almost ready to rock and roll out of here and head downtown. smoked right there but uh bar and garden show time we got nick the rest of the boys unloading the truck Woo! so our booth is literally right where i'm standing you know all the other contractors in here working they got in a couple days ago so we're going to figure out electric uh lay out the uh exterior footprint get stuff unloaded start laying these walls out and uh start rocking and rolling today Right 
now is we're basically laying out the footprint of our food. We're gonna make sure all of our corners are square, get our outside boundaries marked so that we can start working on the retaining wall. A lot of times you come in here and they're off by four inches, off by six inches. We wanna maximize our footprint here. So that's basically what we're doing is we're going around double checking our measurements from the design and uh, laying everything out. working together. Jerry and I are, and Josh are gonna start laying out the walkways, getting the reservoirs placed. Here we go, we've got Jerry unwrapping the aqua blocks. Jerry, what do you think with your first flower and garden show with Aquascape? It's pretty intense. Yeah. There's a lot going on here, it's, that's for sure. It's fast. You guys remember, this is controlled chaos. This is all very, very well planned out. We've been doing this for a long time, so we kind of know what we're doing. But every year, the flower show always throws us a curveball or two, so I'm interested to see what that curveball this year is gonna be. This is the shed that we talked about earlier. Over here in this section will be our Palmas waterfall. Really, really pleased with the progress. Um, the guys are doing a fantastic job. We're working really well together as a team. So far, no snap food. my favorite part we're about to start building a waterfall let me show you so there's our reservoir do it a little different here at the show you can see underneath this is going to be our aqua blocks set up the aqua blocks first put them on top of the liner do the fabric and everything else and then backfill with sand rather than dig 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 it makes it a whole lot faster so we're going to have a little stream starting from up there kind of meandering coming in close to this wall over here and then going down into our aqua blocks over in here the one challenge here at a show is I can't use my pump vault because again, the concrete floor, I don't have the space to dig that down. Why would we never set up a pump like this for a customer? It's hard for them, the customer, to get to it, to service it. Not even hard, basically impossible. <laughs> We've got to put this in the show like this. We can't dig down to get our vault. So we put it in here like this to minimize the height of these walls that have to be built up and everything. But if we were to install it like this for a customer, once these crates go back over the top of it and then gravel goes over the top of that, can you imagine having to, to pull the crates off, pull the gravel away and everything else to get to that pump? It would just be a nightmare. And so because it's a nightmare, customers would never do that. That's why we actually have a pondless vault to make it easy for customers and our maintenance team to get in and maintain pondless waterfalls. The one thing we want to be really mindful of is still access to this pump. So if ever anything were to go wrong during the middle of the show, electric outage, pump got clogged with something, who knows, right? We want easy access there. So when we're starting to place some of these bigger rocks that are back in over here, we don't want to put anything on top of this panel so we can get back in there. So we'll probably end up putting like a piece of driftwood over the top of it. It's like late, see? We're the last people here. But it all paid off. I just, I so much love when like we design stuff and it does what we want it to do. And like, you want to talk about bird sanctuary? Yep, that's awesome. That little section right here. is really cool. Right here. Birdville. Birdville. So this thing is gonna obviously take on a completely different look. 
once it's all landscaped, but uh, I love it. Well, good morning, everybody. Day two. Um, don't worry, I am extremely caffeinated this morning. We got myself and Jerry here. Um, we are the only two here right now. Our friends from Tough Shed are here. Cheryl's She Shed. There's our Tough Shed. It's gonna be that structure that we were talking about. Look at these beautiful French doors. Not a snafu at all. They were here right on time, just like we were told they were gonna be, which is fantastic. So now it's up to Jerry and myself to get everything ready so that this thing goes as seamlessly as possible. I told you um, it's never a normal flower show without one snafu. Well, the tuck shed behind me is way too big for the forklift here. We've had to do a lot of extra work. All these guys over here are working feverishly to help get the job done. In the meantime, we've got uh, our two newbies over here doing the detail work, which is the, the last 10%, which is actually what makes, every, makes or breaks any project. Cheryl She Shed, as we're calling it, but the Tuck Shed is now in, which is great because now we can finish our sex lace sphere, finish our basalt columns back over there. Our last feature that we have to install is our spillway wall. It's always a challenge here at the flower show. If this is our only snafu, we're in great shape. Now we're rocking and rolling. I feel really, really good now. Thank goodness. <laughs> Obviously there's some little things we want to do before we finish this up. We want to get some pricing around it. We want to get some signage around it. McAdam Landscape, who I can't thank enough, came in and did the beautiful brickwork. I love these clay pavers donated to us by Illinois Brick. Thanks Illinois Brick, you guys are awesome. A Unilock came through big time. A lot of the wall stone for us, so thanks the guys over at Unilock. It's not the all aquascape, it's obviously a huge collaboration of very, very creative people and all of us together make this thing happen. Hope you guys love it. I can't wait to walk you around and show you the finished, finished product when we're done. Wait until I show you what we've built. So what's really cool about this year is we have collaborators. State Farm has a whole ad campaign about Cheryl's She Shed. It's their booth, they sponsored our booth. But the idea of behind our design is to kind of entice people as they go. And so this is a new product behind us. I don't know if it's because it's a new product. Hey, she does. <laughs> and what's your name? Emma. What's your favorite part of our booth? Um, everything. Would you want this in your yard? Yes. Because it just looks cool. Yeah, very good. Oh, yeah, this is my dad, and he's my assistant. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about certified aquascape contractors? They're the best. Yeah, they're We the know best. what we're doing. Yeah. Looks like we got another pond installer in our future. So, behind me, Stack Slate Sphere. So awesome. Absolutely the number one thing people were interested in. And you can see why the sound, the texture, the lights. Look at how the light still reflects off of the side of the she shed over there. So this has actually been one of the number one draws to our booth. And this is why we do collaborators, right? And who wouldn't want this as their shed? Come in, hang out. And then once you're done in here, the view is the sphere, our awesome poundless waterfall, or just to the corner, boom. Basalt columns. Basalt columns have been a classic tradition for us. We'll never ever get sick of these things. I love the way the lights, the core lights sit up in the top of them. Makes it look at night like there's actually a candle up on top of them without actually having fire. With lights added to the base of this, it actually looks like silver is falling off of that. My favorite project is actually this one. And this is the one that the true hobbyist gets involved with. So Chris and I built this. It's a stream that literally has a grade change of less than 12 inches. That waterfall, a free waterfall, is as far as elevation. So this is the free one. The next one is only six inches higher than grade. What makes it look big 
is the size of the boulders and then the height of that bowl. And what's nice about using a bowl rather than a spillway with big boulders on the side is I don't have to hide the bowl and it looks really impressive. So I wanted to show you that last project I was talking about and here it is. This is a new stack slate wall. What I love so much about this stack slate walls is how modular they are. We have straight pieces, we have curved pieces. They're stackable to different levels. You could add straight pieces to curved pieces. Like you really get excited about it. But let me show you what I was talking about with that silver falling off of it. Who wouldn't want that? And it, I'm gonna pause for a second, listen to the sound of it. So this is why I like doing the flower show. I'm allowed to be super creative past homeowner expectations. I love collaborating with different people. So many different relationships that can be built to inspire you guys. The whole purpose of construction is R&D. We wanna field test our products, hopefully inspire you, educate you, and motivate you to do different things in your flower shows, or more importantly, maybe even in your backyards. Hey, I hope you guys love this. If you did, hit like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what your favorite part of our flower show booth was. Next year, we'll make sure we tag you in that post and build something even more epic. That's right, Greg, we're doing it next year. Boom.